Hey everyone, it's Jackal Wolf back with another episode of the Great Green North. Uh, this is for the weekend of May 5th and May 6th. Uh, this is the series where I chronicle my adventures in gardening north of the border. First up, we've got to take out the trellis uh, that's in the middle of uh, one of my garden beds. Uh, so that's going to get moved off to the side. Uh, next, we've got to clean up that bed. We're going to do a bunch of weeding on it. Uh, take all those weeds out and uh, basically prepare it for some carrots. Also, I've got a space near the back of my garden. Uh, now, this is a space that I've previously prepared with the no-dig method. Uh, I'll get into that once we get to that area, but uh, I think it's worked out very, very well. I'm really, really excited to show it off. Uh, in that space, we're going to plant some peas. As well, we've also got to go around the garden and weed up some of our already established beds, uh, namely the onion and garlic uh, areas. Once weeded, we're going to take some compost from the compost bin and side dress the onions and garlic to give them a nutrient boost. Also, we'll be keeping an eye out for any of our little garden friends that we come across on the way. So that's the plan for this week, guys. But first, let's head out on our weekly garden poke. It is May the 5th. Um, you see there's a lot more green coming up. The grass is getting really, really nice. Uh, first dandelion of the season. Um, gonna have to do something about them. Uh, so let's just go around and do a little uh, poke around the garden before we get to add it. Um, you see the onions are doing really, really good. I gotta get in here and do a little bit of a weed. I've got quite a bit of grass. Uh, in here, um, and I'm gonna have to take care of uh, oops, something's been digging over here where the peas are gonna go. Actually, speaking of peas, I'm curious, I should have come out here this morning and given them a, a good water. I did water them quite nice or quite well last night, um, but it does look like it is a little dry. No, 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 the soil's pretty damp under there, so uh, they should be doing okay. Should be seeing sprouts there probably in the next couple of days. Um, hopefully they're going to go really well. Uh, onions for seeds over here. Uh, they are uh, growing quite well, so uh, they will eventually bolt, and we'll get the nice, really nice big round uh, flower heads, which... Uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of seed off of. Oh, current bushes are uh, definitely, uh, the leaves are coming out, uh, so that is nice. Um, looks like all three have got some good green started on them. Uh, another bed that I gotta go through and uh, weed out. Um, I got these little fern type weeds I seem to get every year uh, in this spot. Um, as well, I'm curious if these are going to come back. I can't remember what they were. I would have planted them with the, the heads coming out like that. Uh, but I do have the garlics in here doing okay. Uh, like I said, I got to get in here and clean that out. I guess everything's in the shade. I got to be more mindful of uh, where I am and the camera is. Um, over here, the leaks. Some new green started. You can see a little bit of water left in that one. I probably have to go through and clean out all this sort of uh, dry stuff and uh, just to hopefully help it grow a little bit better. Um, but something uh, hopefully I'll get to today, if not tomorrow. Uh, some more of the onions from last year. Uh, definitely got to get in there and clean that out. The apple tree, oh, there we go. I don't know, again, I don't want to get too close in case it doesn't focus properly, but uh, just starting to leaf out there. That's a little bit better uh, one right there. Uh, so that is good. Uh, the elderberry bush uh, doing a lot better. Um, I, I do wish it would kind of grow a little bit bigger. It could just be our environment. I don't know if it does well here or not, but 
certainly seems to be pretty far along this year. Uh, now these are the honeyberry. Uh, these are the ones I planted last year. So uh, the fact that they're coming back at all is a good sign. Uh, a lot of a lot of dried leaves on there. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it grows this year. Like I said, I'm not expecting much uh, from it, but uh, it would be nice if we did get a little bit uh, next year. I, I'm thinking probably be uh, the better expectation. Crab apple tree is uh, starting to leaf out good as well. Lots of nice little green on there. And last but not least, we got strawberries pushing their way up. I threw a little bit of uh, straw down from the um, from the beds that I took out. Like I, I took the straw off where the potatoes were last year. I uh, threw it down here. Uh, so it's starting to poke out and uh, this white raspberry bush uh, starts, it looks like it's greening up. Try to get there. And then some of these uh, red raspberries, you can just see the leaves starting to poke out as well. So um, yeah, I'm happy about that little poke uh, through the garden. Somebody decided to catch a ride. Yeah, you're not going near there. So where do we get this compost from? Uh, our, our, our compost uh, pile. That's right. It's right from our compost bin. Well, pile, basically. Oh, oh, fair enough, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a pile. Okay. Right. We're just going to move this out all over. Well, you want to dig it into the dirt. So just, yeah, just push down and turn over, push down and turn over. Yep, just like that. I heard a hair bug. No, nope, that's a bird. Bugs don't sound that loud. Yeah. Just the back. Don't know if you can read that or not. So how deep do you have to plant them? Uh, six millimeters. Right. Yep, six millimeters or one quarter of an inch. Okay, yep. First I'm going to give her the water. <laughs> there was the bump. Yeah. Do you know what daddy calls that watering can? What? That's my Harvest Moon watering can. Why? Because it looks like it's the one from Harvest Moon. Think it's good? Uh, a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. 
So what we're doing is we don't want to disturb. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to disturb the seeds once we plant them because they're a fairly shallow plant. Good. Yeah, okay, that should be good. So we're going to do a big water underneath and then we're going to plant the seeds on top and then cover Where's them the again. Do the you need me to open them up? So um, we have um, a, a, a lot of neighborhood cats around and since I love cats, so I just thought, well, why not plant a catnip? It will attract more. And we're doing it at the front of the house so they're not attracted to Daddy's garden in the back. Yeah, but uh, I was hoping that we would get some um, outside my window so then we, I could watch them eat the catnip. <laughs> wow, they're, they're really small. They are really small. That's why they're shallow. Open your hands a little bit so we can see. They're small seeds that will grow into a big plant. I don't know how big catnip grows. Well, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Well, maybe maybe not quite like that, but... Ah! Oh! <laughs> what, the, what was wrong? I saw a caterpillar. Uh, I saw a centipede. Okay. That's a good sign. Centipedes are good for the garden. It freaked me out. Okay, <laughs> yeah, obviously it freaked you out. Do you want to try putting the rest in there? No. Where was the centipede? It was right there. So it wasn't even in the compost. <laughs> it wasn't even... So why did you throw the compost? I don't know. What's my doing? Just, Just put, the rest of, put the rest of it on. So, uh, in this area was where the centipede was. You know what? I like seeing the centipedes. They're good for the garden. Oh, they're only oh, the little tiny guy. So this is this little, little tiny. Oh, I dropped him. He was super. Oh, no, there he is. That's the one you were looking at. He was a little big guy. He was, um, he was pink. Was he pink? Yeah. Pinkish, reddish. Uh -uh. I can't see him anymore. All right, so I'm just breaking up some of these big pieces of compost because yeah. you don't want the plant to have to force its way through. Yeah. yeah. So there's a centipede. Well, actually, it's probably... I don't know if it's a centipede or a millipede. I don't even know if you can see very well. He's in that corner there. Definitely like seeing those in the garden. So let's put them out. I don't like seeing them in the garden. <laughs> Alright, are you going to finish? Really... It's okay. Are you going to finish watering? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We got to keep this moist but not wet. Okay, so this is every Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll water it up. Well, but we'll, we'll try to figure out a watering schedule, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pour all the, the rest of the water. Yep. So now we're gonna have crazy cats visit our yard all the time. Yep. And it'll make me, me happy, and it'll make I'll make Jack and Wolf unhappy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're gonna say goodbye. So yeah, everyone. Heard. That was me planting catnip, and uh, it's good to try to get stick it on. <laughs> Okay, so we are back. Had a little bit of a break. Picked up uh, Creative Kitty from her friends. Um, then uh, you'll probably see it in a moment. Uh, she planted her catnip uh, up front. But um, while I was doing the weed, the weeding, uh, this looks like a leftover. I'm going to say that's a leek from last year because I did have leeks and onions in here. Um, there's a leftover one that bolted uh, that I never pulled out for some reason. Oh no, I think that was a. Sh I Honestly, I can't remember half the things I did and why I did them. Uh, but I just got to finish off this little bit. Uh, we're going to flatten it off. Oop, just bumped the camera there. I uh, got to flatten it off and then it will be ready for the carrots. And then we just got to do a little bit of weeding uh, down there to get some space ready for uh, the peas. So um, let's get at it.
Okay, so uh, this has turned out to be uh, quite the eye opener. There, uh, this is actually uh, it's not a leek; it's an onion. Though the the leaves on it seem uh, much more like a leek than an onion. Uh, I just well, it's possible it is a leek. I've just never seen a leek with a bulb. So, um, and then I found all these little foundlings here. That um, uh, this is the one that was a shallot that I kind of knew of. Uh, but there's another shallot that I found, and two more. So these are all ones that I missed last year. That was sort of my, that little three foot space was my um, uh, leftover bed. So when I had a leftover onion or leek or shallot or whatever, it just kind of went into that little, uh, small little spot there because uh, I didn't have anything else to really grow. Um, and uh, now I thought I got them all, but... Uh, obviously I did not so I'm gonna go move these into a couple different places uh, where it looks like things haven't come back with the onions and that and uh, we'll see if we get them to grow this year all right Okay, so here is a bed ready for carrots. Uh, now I've got a trick for planting carrots uh, that I might do tonight, I might do tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it on this video or not, but uh, I do have a trick for planting carrots. They probably won't be planted until maybe Wednesday next week. We'll have to see what the weather's like uh, and what the timing uh, is like, but uh, they're the sort of thing that uh, the little trick is, it puts me on a deadline though. So. Uh, but we'll get that to another time. Uh, it's almost dinner time for me, so I'm just going to start working on that pea bed because I do want to get them in tonight. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for today. We'll see how what tomorrow brings. All right, uh, see you guys in a bit. So. Um, I got a feeling a lot of you were wondering what's with the newspaper and all the straw. So, uh, last year, all this here, uh, was grass. This was all lawn. And what I did is I covered it over with the newspaper and then I covered it over with the straw and I grew potatoes in that. Um, as you can see, because it was covered over, uh, all the grass died back. Uh, there is some of these, these weeds that stayed alive underneath the paper and that um, but basically it kept them from it, it's it's a way of getting rid of grass uh, rather than you know digging it and turning it over which is what I've done with all these beds here in the past uh, every year I try to claim like another you know eight or ten feet uh, of garden space uh, last year I decided to try uh, this sort of no dig uh, one and it's worked pretty well uh, I still got some of these long weeds in there, so I'm going to have to do very similar to what I was doing in the other two beds, uh, but it is should be way simpler than uh, trying to dig and uh, turn over the sod at the bottom of the, the, the pile, basically. Okay guys, uh, I gotta say I am actually really, really, really impressed. Um, for a patch of land that up until last year was sawed, um, this broke down really, really easy. If I had tried doing that into just like right where it is, uh, there's no way I'm getting it down more than like an inch and uh, being able to turn it like as easily as I was. Um, no, this is definitely uh, an easier way of uh, breaking up the topsoil um, and getting at the all that good stuff underneath. So uh, it is dinner time for me. Uh, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to get back out here this evening, though uh, I've got some uh, other videos I got to uh, work on. So good chance that we won't be back out until tomorrow. Um, I don't want to leave this too long, or else I'm going to have to do it all over again because uh, those roots are going to spread out and grab on uh, some more. But um, didn't get as much done today as I had hoped, but uh, you get what you can, and I mean it's just a hobby, so um, we'll just see how the rest of it goes.
All right, see you guys. Hey guys, so it is another day. It is uh, May the 6th, Sunday, May the 6th. Uh, so we got a little bit of catching up to do. I didn't get back out here uh, yesterday evening, so I got to finish uh, that bed. Um, and I will see how much more time we've got before I get too tired or it gets too hot. It's supposed to be a really nice day today. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So uh, anything I can get done today will be uh, beneficial. So uh, let's get right at it. guys so I don't know if this is voyeuristic or not but you can definitely tell it's spring when you see uh, animals together um, I mean I'm assuming that's what's happening there uh, it's a good sign um, you know uh, <laughs> it just means there's gonna be some more ladybugs in the garden <laughs> he looks like he's about to fall off but oh oh Oh. <laughs> Alright, so before I got distracted, um, I want to start side dressing uh, the onions with, um, with some compost uh, from, from my compost bins. And because uh, I got to use that up so I can start uh, shifting everything over uh, so I can make room for all the new stuff. <laughs> Um, so first of all, I'm going to do a quick weed in here. I got to be a little bit more careful than uh, I have in the other ones. So let's get at it. Okay guys, so that is it for the onions, um, or at least this bed. I've still got the other two to do, um, but it's probably not going to be right now. Uh, I think we've got other things to do, so this is going to get put on hold for a bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get back out here today or not, but uh, if I don't, uh, thanks for joining me in my garden, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!